Nice, I love the welcome back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking show guys. Amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite recipes and ideas. Anyway, today's recipe is going to be a simple one. It is a fresh, it's fish season now, but I'm using some salmon on my YouTube channel. I have thousands of videos on fish recipe. Hope we fry, hope we do it, hope we all sort of fish recipe, guys. Dig down into my YouTube channel and search for Chef Ricardo fry fish recipe them and you will see them. We got jerk fish, we got roast fish we got steamed fish we got all different kind of fish guys they are there so but anyway today i just want to do a simple um salmon recipe i get a request back for it again and i want to do it again um so this one will be honey and also lemon juice with vegetable on top of it it's going to be amazing and it's going to be baking in the oven so if you are a family and at home and you want to do something quickly this come in handy for you stay tuned Follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page. My name is Chef Ricardo. I try my best to give you the best recipe in this whole entire world. Alright, stay tuned. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, guys. Get the latest. Nice and beautiful. So, right here I have four lovely pieces of a salmon. Wash off into some lime juice or you can use vinegar to wash them off. I'm going to be showing you how to marinate up this lovely fish all right so don't go anyway steer right there is going to be a lovely recipe all right where to start from first thing um it's nothing too complicated with this fish it's going to be a simple fish but before we do anything this is what i want to show you what i want to do i want to put some honey on the fish all right once you put the honey squeeze a little bit of lime juice on it little bit of pepper little bit of soya sauce no salt sorry guys and a little bit of soya sauce here it is Let you guys know that soya sauce goes really well with fish. Now, I'm going to be the simple rub it up like this. All right. All right, now, once you rub it up, I got a tray right here. As you can see for yourself, that's my tray for the fish. All right. I'm going to Lay the fish down inside of the tray like this. guys all right so that's the fish so what you can do also just simple prep a little more pepper on the outside of it and a little bit of garlic powder I'm using some garlic powder this time on the outside of the fish and a pinch of salt again not much it's a tiny pinch lovely put this one side Right here I have a big ball, which I'm going to show you a secret ingredients which we're going to be using to do now, all right? So first thing, I got medium sized tomato. Cut up the tomato into some small dices like this. Board. 
Now, got some chili. I'm not gonna be using all of the chili. Just be careful of the chili, because it's very hot. That's, I got some white onion, which I'm going to be using. using a piece of the yellow pepper and red pepper and green pepper but put a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and so a little bit of garlic powder, squeeze a little bit of lime juice, I like to use my strainer and what, you know, when you're a chef and you know what you're doing, you just don't want to, you know. Is the seed? Is the seed of the lime juice? Well, that's fine. Now I'm gonna simply put a little bit of my fish season, just a tiny bit, not much. Tiny bit of fish season. Little bit of soy sauce. And we're gonna put some honey inside of it to hold it. Just about a teaspoon of honey. Give it a lovely mix. Wow. That smells nice. Lovely. Get back that beautiful fish. Look at that, guys. That is lovely and an amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, what you need to do is place all of the vegetables on top of the fish, like this. All right, As you can see for yourself. That is lovely. A liquid and I pour it around it just like that. All right. So basically, it's going to be cooking really lovely and nice. Now, get a file as you can see for yourself. That's the beautiful fish just really amazing but the thing is with this now guys honestly it will take up to 20 to 25 minutes in the oven on a medium size eat you don't want to put it on a high temperature all right a medium size eat and then cook if you bought 20 minutes and then we're going to take off the fire to get those vegetable crispy so it's going to be fantastic and amazing all right now i'm going to put the fire To be baking this as I said 20 minutes then we take it out and look at it all right nice and lovely guys so basically right here I'm doing I'm cooking off some potato 
right here to make some mashed potato to serve with my salmon. All right, so I will take it through it how to do this lovely mashed potato. All right, enjoy it. Um, I didn't want to show you how to peel potato and cook potato, you know what I mean? But just to give you an idea what's going on, because this is easy, you know what I mean? Peel a potato, put it in some water, and boil it for about 20 minutes, and you're good to go. Nice one. So now I'm gonna try my best to give you a simple little fish sauce to go with your salmon and mashed potato. All right, first thing, what you're going to do is put a little bit of fish oil oops oh wow 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 into the front pan just a tiny little bit you don't need much that's fish oil really nice to work with little bit of oil And now I'm gonna put some white onion inside of it. All right, we're just gonna be frying off this for about three to four seconds. Look at that, beautiful. Nice, I love this. I just take the salmon from the oven, and this is it. All right, yeah. All right. So basically, honestly, you need to just pull it apart like this. Now. What I'm gonna do is put this in the oven and give it a nice good 10 minutes for it to get crispy and nice. Nice. So, like this, so that looks nice. Once it's brown off the onion, it's gonna seem to put roughly about a cup of hot water. about two cups of water inside of it this is a secret recipe now we're gonna put a little bit of soya sauce so that look nice nice and lovely and now we're going to put a teaspoon of honey and we are also going to put a one fish stock if you, you don't have to make the sauce, but it's just me giving you some tips. Fish stock, straight inside of it. All right, now we're just gonna allow this for it to boil, turn into a gravy, and then I will show you some more chicks to it. All right, but what you can do, you can use a little bit of vegetable stock, vegetable gravy mix, a little bit and give it a body that's vegetable gravy mix all right so let's gonna allow that for it to cook now put a little bit of black pepper yeah. Yeah. as I said you don't have to do this gravy just me needed to put it on the that beautiful. Let's taste it. Mm. Nice. All right. Now that the boil now. Nice one. Potato is finished. Going to pour it off and mash it up. Show you how to make a lovely mashed potato at home. My recipe. Chef record the recipe is. Yes. Alright, look at that. Beautiful and nice. Nice one. Potato is finished. Going to pour it off and mash it up. Show you how to make a lovely mashed potato at home. My recipe. Chef record the recipe is. Yes. Alright, 
look at that. Beautiful and nice. Nice and lovely. So I'm gonna show you how to do the best mashed potato in the world. Alright? I'm using some light butter. Nice one. So and now we're going to put a little bit of garlic and salt inside of it. Chick guys. Black pepper. Now, all you're going to do is mash it. So if you notice, I use the same pot. You know what I mean? I could use a glass bowl if you want. But I think using the same container where Nice and lovely. So that's the mashed potato. The secret behind the mashed potato. When you make mashed potato, you must always do this. Make the mashed potato get to rest for about 10 minutes. So you put this up a bit. Alright. Love it the rest. That's the secret. With the best mashed potato in the world from Chef Ricardo. Look at that. Amazing. Nice and lovely. So basically what I did already, I just simple put on some piece of lemon on top of it. What you can do if you want, if you're not allergic to lemon, alright? So now we're gonna shear it up because it's finished. You don't wanna overcook the salmon, alright? And not only that, the sauce is a very good sauce also. You know what I mean? What you could do with the same sauce from the salmon, you could simply pour it on this one which I just made. Alright? And that's just gonna be lovely and nice. Alright? Look at that. That is just really beautiful and nice, guys. Honestly, and fantastic. So now we're gonna shear it up. Make you guys get enjoy this recipe. Stay tuned. <laughs> this is just my salmon dinner. Which I just made and honestly it's amazing. Lovely. A nice recipe from Chef Ricardo today guys. Honestly. If you like my salmon dinner, yeah, please leave your comments in the description box. Alright, me no say it is fish season now so that's why I decided to just make you know guys something fantastic and amazing you know what I mean yeah so hopefully guys with us enjoy this lovely lovely meal yeah, this is from Chef Ricardo and the team. And that's the way we work when we are in the kitchen with some vegetable on the side. Honestly, can't go wrong. Broccoli and cauliflower now then today. Well, uh, it is a sauce of my problem right now, missy. Mm, sauce is nice. This is just a beautiful sauce which I just made. Not too. Lovely and nice. Anyway, if you like the recipe, leave your comments in the description box. Tell a friend, and a friend, tell a friend. Here it is, that's from Chef Ricardo the team. And that's the way we do it when we are in the kitchen. Nice and lovely. Look at that. Beautiful and simple recipe. All right, see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe. All right, bye-bye.